nutrition we can observe the bird flying over here in the same manner we can also see the plant growing for the bird to fly or for the plant to grow they need energy the energy is gained by the food intake the intake of food to get energy is known as nutrition there are two modes of nutrition autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition autotrophic nutrition utilizes inorganic compounds such as carbon dioxide water molecules etc to produce carbohydrates the organisms with mode of autotrophic nutrition prepare the food by using these inorganic substances in the presence of sunlight or by using chemical energy the examples are green plants in heterotrophic nutrition complex substances are taken in such as carbohydrates proteins and fats these substances are broken down by enzymes assimilated into the body tissues and release energy the examples are animals the heterotrophs are depend on autotrophs ts of leaf if we observe the ts of leaf under microscope we can see that the leaf is structurally organized to perform photosynthesis the ts of leaf constitutes of superficial membrane called cuticle upper epidermis and lower epidermis in between the upper epidermis and lower epidermis there is mesophyll tissue we can find the stomata in the lower epidermis the mesophyll tissue is the prominent zone to facilitate the process of photosynthesis containing the chloroplast cell organelles the chloroplast contains grana and stroma which together bring about the process of photosynthesis the green plants in the presence of sunlight trap the solar energy they also take the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and water molecule from the soil to produce glucose and oxygen glucose is utilized for growth and other life processes excess of glucose is preserved in the form of starch oxygen gas is released out of the plant into the atmosphere this process is known as photosynthesis the chemical equation for photosynthesis is 6CO2 plus 12H2O gives rise to C6H12O6 plus 6O2 plus 6H2O in the presence of sunlight the grana traps the sun rays to stimulate photolysis of water the photolysis of water results in the production of oxygen and h plus ions oxygen is released out of the plant whereas the h plus ions are utilized to produce atp and nadph molecules these are considered as energy rich molecules these molecules are utilized in calvin cycle Calvin cycle takes place in stroma. In Calvin cycle, the intermediary substances like RUDP reduce the carbon dioxide by using ATP and NADPH to produce glucose molecule. This glucose molecule is utilized for 
plants growth and other life processes the requirements for photosynthesis we need sunlight chloroplast carbon dioxide molecule and water for the process of photosynthesis